All right, so today I'm finishing up the siding. Um, pretty close to being done. This whole entry side is completely done. That other side is also completely done. Um, let me show you guys where I'm at. So I just need to replace this piece of soffit. I ripped out the old section because uh, for some reason this uh, material, LP material I use got really warpy and um, it just did not look very good. Uh, it may be because this stuff is not actually made for soffits. This is like, a, they call it a LP utility siding panel from Lowe's, so it's quite a bit cheaper. Um, so I actually bought some soffit material that has the vent already integrated in it. Uh, so it's just gonna look a lot better. This stuff has held up fine because it's uh, has like a continuous backing or blocking up there on both sides. So it's stayed flat and it looks good. So yeah, once I get that soffit up, it's coming today. I uh, can finish up this uh, lap siding all the way up to it. And then this back side will be done. So on this side, just got a couple more panels to put up. And um, it's just gonna be a uh, board and batten style. So I just have to come back and get the battens up. And the nook area is also going to be board and batten. So we're just going to throw those panels up and uh, should go pretty quickly. All right, I've got all these panels in. Uh, now I need to come back and trim out around this window. And uh, then there's just gonna be a uh, top trim piece up there. Then I can run all the battens. All right, I finally got the front section done. Got the rest of the battens up there. Oh yeah, and I just realized that I forgot to put the uh, top trim board, the top there before doing the battens. So I guess I'm gonna have to individually cut them all and fit them in. So that'll be fun. So sadly, this big uh, oak tree right behind me has died. Um, I think it's a red oak tree. Um, but it's a really nice, big, mature oak tree, so it sucks to lose it, but uh, not much I could do about it. So yeah, I'm going to get it cut down. I had a guy here. He's going to cut it down for me, and I'm going to try to uh, cut some slabs out of it. I bought like a little slabbing kit, like an Alaskan mill, um, so that should be pretty cool.
so we got the first coat done, but uh, it started raining on us and uh, some of the paint got a little bit wet, but it had dried pretty good. Most of the lower areas that got wet had dried pretty well. So I think it should be okay. I think the rain's done for today. Uh, so we'll let this all dry out and tomorrow we'll do the second coat and then we'll start on the trim and stuff like that. So yeah, the rain didn't really let up and uh, this is really the only bad spot, uh, but just all the drips from the roof were splashing off of this walkboard I had across here. And it was really splashing the house really bad right there. It made some of the paint run. Uh, the rest of the house is good. It's just this backside. So we'll just have to see what it looks like in the morning. Hopefully it'll dry out okay. And we can just do a second coat on top of it. But I don't really know. I've never had to deal with paint getting rained on, so. So we got most of the painting done. We've got the back done and the two sides. Only thing we have to finish up on the sides is uh, the fascia and a little bit of the soffit. But it turned out really nice. We were afraid it was gonna be a little bit too much green, but uh, painting the trim this kind of off-white color really helped break it up. And uh, we're pretty happy with it. I'm glad I decided to replace this soffit. Looks so much better now. So I still have a little bit of siding left to do on this nook area. Um, I was waiting till we could move all the scaffolding from that back side up here so we could safely get up there and get all the siding done. And I just have to do some lap siding there to finish that off. Maybe just another half day finishing up the siding and should be able to get this all painted. Uh, the scaffolding is really tall. You can see it's three sections. And then we had to do this little cross board um, to be able to get to that corner there. But I rigged up a um, attachment point so I could hook up a harness. So I sprayed all of the lap siding and after spraying two coats on that, we came back and by hand painted the soffit and uh, that top section there, the darker green. Um, it was just gonna be a lot of work to try to mask everything off. So I think it worked out good that way. So we should be getting some water hooked up pretty soon. And I need to build this area out, uh, at least these back two walls, so that I can start routing all the plumbing, the water and stuff into here. Uh, all the water and like the water heater will be on this wall. I'm also gonna have like a filter system set up. And uh, I'm going to move right now the uh, main panel, electrical panel is in this room. But since we built this room, I'm going to move it to that wall uh, so I should be able to pretty easily cut this and reroute the panel to that wall that way it'll free up the wall space inside of that room so I installed it in here before I knew we were going to build that room um, and it'll be nice just to get it out of here and that'll free up this whole wall space because uh, we do want to do kind of like a built-in washer dryer area laundry room area and this we're going to try to build a bathroom in right here in this corner uh, with the shower and stuff but that will be later once we're done with the upstairs same thing down here if we get some time i'm going to try to just get it all framed out and closed up i have these big windows to install down here um, in that corner in between those posts and there so you still have a good view out uh, but this is just going to be like an office space so for now i just want to get it closed up and finish backfilling behind the wall and get it uh, protected with the moisture barrier. So yeah, in the next video, we'll finish up this siding and get the rest of the house painted and uh, hopefully be done with the exterior, except for the uh, bottom area down here. We'll finish, we'll come back and finish that up later. I just wanna get this top side done, 
completely buttoned up so I can move to the interior. And uh, I've bought all the plumbing parts and stuff I need, or most of it, I'm sure I'll need more. Uh, so I should be able to start plumbing and uh, getting all the wiring in there. Um, so yeah, looking forward to be able to move on to that and not have to be climbing around on a bunch of scaffolding and sketchy ladders and stuff. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.